พลธงลดลงก่อนพักก่อนออฟแฟกอันนี้ขบวนของผู้ตัดขบวนที่46ขบวนที่1ได้เดินทางมาถึงเป็นนะครับ Now the first convoy of the VIP coming from the wing 46 to the opening ceremony venue please buy all the including please come to your seat
สองสาม
Ladies and gentlemen, the entourage of the Chief Defense Forces is arriving. Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, good morning and welcome to the opening ceremony of COP 2020 at Camp Eka Kotsarod in Pisanulo Province on the 1st of February 2020. COP exercise is the biggest exercise in Southeast Asia, co-hosted by the Wartime Armed Forces and the United States Indo-Pacific Command. The exercise is conducted every year. And 2020 marks the 39th iteration, which coincides with it being a heavy year in the exercise due to yearly heavy and light year cycle. Copper Gold exercise consists of seven participating nations of Thailand, United States, Singapore, and Indonesia, Republic of Korea, and Malaysia, together with two limited participating nations of India and China. 10 multinational planning augmentation team or MPAT nations, and 10 combined observer liaison team or COLD nations to make a total of 29 nations participating in the exercise every year. On this occasion for the evening ceremony, we would like to invite the representative of the five participating nations of Singapore, Japan, Indonesia, Republic of Korea, and Malaysia to come forward to get ready for the opening ceremony. Red. And may we now invite the co-hosts, the chief 
forces together with the representatives from the US PAC and the representatives from the US Embassy in Thailand to come forward. Salute to the coach again of 2020. Reset. I am Major General Korea Yesulo, Chief of Staff of the Monthly National Force, who present the opening session of Kabuko 2020. 450 persons accounted for. We now invite Lieutenant General Titi Chai and Hong, Cobra Gold 2020 Exercise Director, to report to the co chairs. Chief of Naval Operations, I am U.S. Japan. This is Ambassador, Deputy Special Commander, Plenty of Allied Forces, Plenty of Royal Thai Armed Forces, Ladies and Gentlemen, and all distinguished guests, on behalf of our participants, I would like to express my gratitude to General Hoat Benesi, Chief of the Defense Force, His Excellency, USCDA to Thailand, and Ladies, Yusuf Hector, for joining President over the opening. Ceremony of the Expo 2020 today. Kobo Kobo joined by military personnel in Asia, co hosted by the Royal Thai Armed Forces and West Indo Pacific Command, conducted annually in Thailand. Kosai Kobo Kobo 2020 is the 39th iteration of this kind and will be staged in every year. Men face a total of 9,630 participants taking part. The objectives of the exercise are to enhance security cooperation in serving the obvious conflict, to provide humanitarian assistance and natural disaster relief efforts, and to strengthen the relation between loyal high armed forces and the armed forces of participating allied countries. As well as to prepare the Royal Thai Air Force to address those military operations as a support operation, humanitarian and disaster relief. This allows participating nations to improve their capacity and experience in citizens to engage in United States mission in line with on security. Of the exercise system, command for exercise, CPX, conducted by the National Force that consists of several participating nations and multinational organization team with nations. Real training in comprising previous assault exercise, non combatant operation exercise, my destruction training. Large scale air operation exercise, combined life fire exercise, conducted by Dan Lan Hoi in support of it. To make a specific assessment program or SEA, like a soft engineering program and health engagement program. The engineering program will be conducted seven sites. Also, this year we have up the humanitarian and disaster relief exercise as part of academics and even top exercise in Grand Riverside Post Kisulo. And few determinations in 
the Stratton Ladies Training Center in Jackson South Province. The first rule of security cooperation under the leadership environment and the readiness to respond to the unexpected threats and to build the confidence in the regional security in the last long period. For this good occasion, may I invite the USA to deliver this speech and come up the speech of the Deputy Commander and opening the declare of Royal High Office, Chief of the Defense Force for Kobogo Express 2020. Sir. And on the occasion, may we invite His Excellency Michael Keith, the Charge of the Fair of the United States, to deliver the address, sir. Thank you very much. Thank you for your leadership and the dedicated efforts of your staff in putting together this great exercise, which is so important for our two countries and to our regional and global security. And thank you, Major General Johnson, for your presence here today as the United States Indo Pacific Command's senior representative to the exercise. Your participation underscores the importance of the Cobra Gold as a crown jewel of the enduring U.S. Thai alliance of America's unwavering commitment to a free and open Indo-Pacific. I'd also like to extend a warm welcome to the full participating nations of Indonesia, Japan, Malaysia, Singapore, and South Korea. We also welcome China and India, who join us in conducting humanitarian and civic action activity during this year's Cobra Gold. And we welcome those joining the Observer Nation delegations. This is the 39th Cobra Gold, making it the longest running international military exercise in the world. It is fitting that the that Thailand and the United States should co chair this exercise. Our two nations also enjoy an extremely long and deep bond together, a relationship that has benefited both of our nations for more than 200 years. While Cobra Gold is founded on a long and rich history of U.S. Thai friendship, the exercise is clearly focused on the and has grown to showcase multilateral friendship and interoperability. It brings together nearly three countries from around the world to strengthen cooperation, collaboration, and interoperability on shared security issues. Today's world poses many diverse challenges that no single country can solve alone. Only through cooperation and collaboration can we rise to meet these challenges to keep our people safe. Cobra Gold also underpins the Indo Pacific strategy to support an open order in the Indo-Pacific. The benefits of Cobra Gold have been clearly demonstrated throughout the years. Nations represented here today have fought side by side on battlefields across the world. In the last 15 years in Asia, we have worked together for the common good after tragedies such as the 2004 Indian Ocean tsunami, the Great East Han Earthquake and Tsunami of 2011, Typhoon Haiyan in the Philippines in 2015, and the April 2015 earthquake in Nepal. Together, we have relieved the suffering of all of those affected by these natural disasters and others. The next 10 days will be a very busy and exciting time for all of us, with activities ranging from combined field maneuvers to command post staff exercises, from non combatant evacuation to humanitarian action. Cobra Gold requires participant countries to work together multilaterally across the full spectrum of operations. These activities will provide great benefits to interoperability and contribute to the operational readiness of all of the militaries involved. But even more important than the training value of Cobra Gold are the relationships that we develop through these exercises. Relationships between countries, between senior leaders, and among our servicemen and women at every level. This aspect of the exercise, the building of relationships, helps us foster a spirit of cooperation and goodwill, both at the institutional level among governments and among individuals. All the young Royal Thai Armed Forces attendants taking part in Cobra Gold today could one day become the next General Bon Pipat. The young American officer here today could very well be the next Major General Johnson. And if those two officers build a good relationship, 
our mutual understanding today. In the future, their relationship can play a pivotal role in sustaining U.S. tied bilateral relations and be the basis for the alliance's contributions to regional security. So I encourage all of you to use the opportunity over these next 10 days to reach out to your counterparts to build new and lasting friendships. The bonds you form during this exercise can lay the foundation for international cooperation in the years to come. You will be the next generation of cooperation and friendship between all of our nations. Let me conclude by saying how honored I am to be here to be with you, to be part of the most important multilateral exercise in the Indo-Pacific region. Thank you all very much for all of your efforts to confident in COVID-19 2020, a fantastic success. Thank you very much. Thank you, sir. And next, I'd like to invite Major General P. Johnson, Deputy United States Army Pacific Commander, to deliver, deliver the address. General Plumper, our U.S. Secretary of Affairs, Mr. Michael Heath, heads of multinational delegations, flag and general officers, distinguished guests, and most importantly, magnificent soldiers, sailors, airmen, and marine present. Salutikat, and good morning. On behalf of Admiral Phil Johnson, it is an honor for the United States Indo-Pacific Command to share the kickoff for COVID-19 2020. As you have already heard, we eagerly celebrate year of this exercise, jointly sponsored by Thailand and the United States, and developed over these 10 years as the largest multinational exercise in the Indo-Pacific region. I second what Mr. Heath said. We truly do appreciate your leadership and hard work and dedication of your staff in planning and hosting this great exercise. This with your world-renowned hospitality guarantees success. Please join me in applauding the extraordinary efforts of our Thai hosts. Ladies and gentlemen, I am honored to be here today, standing shoulder to shoulder with our partners and allies from all across the Pacific region. This is my seventh time to Thailand, and each time I'm struck by its beauty, its rich history, and the graciousness of its people. It is a privilege to be back, and on behalf of all of the visiting countries, thank you again for making us feel at home. The United States and Thailand enjoy a long and deep alliance. Our nation established bilateral relations over two centuries ago in 1880 and formalized our alliance in 1954. Thailand is America's oldest ally in the Indo-Pacific region, and we have a shared history that binds us together into the foreseeable future. For the last 66 years, we've been treaty allies committed to mutual defense cooperation. Our troops have deployed and fought together in Korea, Vietnam, Iraq, and Afghanistan, and have worked hand-in-hand -hand to provide military assistance and disaster relief during numerous natural disasters in the region. Our treaty alliance means that Thailand and the United States are committed to work together with other like-minded nations in support of regional and global security to ensure a free and open Indo-Pacific. Cobra Gold is a vital part of that commitment. As the largest military training exercise in this region, Cobra Gold is essential to building trust and increasing interoperability among our military forces. This exercise provides our forces a critical opportunity to train together complex and challenging missions to build trust and prepare us to fight together if ever needed in defense of the values and nations we serve, or more importantly, to deter crisis and conflict 
by demonstrating our combined readiness. We enhance trust and credible and interoperable combat readiness. We can preserve peace, stability, and prosperity in this region. This year's exercise will provide even better training for the participating military forces, including more complex fire operations, a more rigorous academics package and exercise, and incorporation of defensive cyber techniques. I'd like to extend my sincere thanks and welcome to all participating nations that are joining this great exercise. Your commitment makes a meaningful contribution to the region's security. I appreciate your efforts. I am confident that over the next two weeks, you will develop mutual trust and increase multilateral interoperability, which does support our collective endeavor to maintain a free and open Indo-Pacific. Again, thank you all for your efforts to October Goal 2020. It will no doubt be the very best ever. Your contributions fundamentally support peace, stability, and prosperity in this region and throughout the world. Thank you very much. And Thank you, sir. Thank, Thank you so much for your kind words. Next, ladies and gentlemen, we would like to invite General Pompey the Chief of Defense Forces of the Armed Forces, to deliver the speech and declare official exercise over the service. Your Excellency, shouts the affair of the United States to the Kingdom of Thailand. And the Ambassador of Korea, Deputy Chief of Mission of Singapore, Indonesia, Malaysia, Governor of Pisolo Province, and representatives of the armed forces of all participating countries. Distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, I am delighted to go here to the Cobra Corps site. 2020 opening ceremony today. I do appreciate everybody's participation who witnessed the largest and 31 year opening joint combined exercise in Southeast Asia. Personally, I've been involved in a number of exercise for many years and in many roles. Throughout the years, I have witnessed the constant development from a small scale joint exercise between Thai Marines and US Marines in Sahih. Up now, Cobra Go has grown up into the 39 years old handsome man. We have many cousins running this largest exercise in the region. In activities like command force exercise, humanitarian assistance, disaster relief exercise, and also field training exercise. The SKDR exercise is considered very useful for our current global situation. The good collaboration in the actual situation like the earthquake in Nepal and many more serve as great examples. This has proven that the Cobra Go exercise is platform for allied nations to practice and share valuable skills, knowledge, and experience to jointly handle future natural challenges. I thank all of you for joining the opening ceremony of the Copper Go Exercise 2020 today, especially the U.S. government and the U.S. in the who jointly has the bridge, the Copper Go Exercise with Thailand since 1982 and co-host the exercise annually. I would also like to thank all the nations who have participated in the exercise, contributing to the the skills of every man and women who have participated. It is great opportunity for us all of different nationalities and 
I'm going to train together for a period of two weeks. This will certainly allow us to learn from each other, to share and gain great experiences as much as we can. I deeply commend every brave and fearless soldier determined to join the exercise in the face of hardship and the COVID-19 outbreak. Great time forces as co-host, however, have set up the COVID-19 outbreak strictly prevention measures in this exercise, which was safe and healthy conditions for all participants. Since the beginning of the exercise, we have not yet received any report for any infection among participants. I would like to ensure you all that we have a plan to handle if there is any outbreak of virus. And we have proper measurements to set your health and safety to all participants. Therefore, I would like to ask you all to seriously follow the health guidelines. Once again, I would like to emphasize that life and safety is the top priority. Of which the Corporate Goal 2020 exercise a great success, like every week. And you all safely return home to see your loved ones. I now declare the Corporate Goal 2020 exercise open. Thank you, Corporate Ladies and gentlemen, now the Common Gold Exercise 2020 has been declared open. We would like to take this opportunity for a group first session by inviting the three co hosts to stand in front at the center of the stage. So we'd like now to take a brief moment for the three co hosts representing two nations of Thailand and States for a group picture. So on the count of three, ladies and gentlemen, things on the count of three. Look at the cameras. One, two, three. And for the second picture, if I could invite the senior representatives of the five other full participating nations to join in the picture, please. Representing Singapore, Japan, Indonesia, Republic of Korea, and Malaysia. Ladies and 
ladies and gentlemen, ready? The cameras on the count three again. On the count One, two, three. Thank you. And the last picture, if I could invite the seven or eight representatives now to proceed down from the stage and join the troops and form the row in front of the troops for another great picture seen here. On the other แล้วแน่นอนครับในภาพนี้นะครับเราขออนุญาตเรียนเชิญผู้มีอำนาจของของทัพไทยนะครับร่วมไปพักดูนะครับ the senior representatives of the nations notably the participating the full participating nations as well as the representatives of the foreign countries as well as of course the officers of Thailand and the United States joining in for this momentous occasion, this great picture. We're still missing a couple of people here. Gentlemen, just bear with us a seconds while we arrange the line. All right, so I believe we're now ready. Ladies and gentlemen, in the front row, ready for the picture. Okay, on the count of three, again, I'm thinking Sam. On the count of three. One, two, three. One, one more picture, please. Ready? Look at, look at the cameras, ladies and gentlemen. One, two, three. Perfect. So, thank you so much, ladies and gentlemen, for taking part in our future session. And now, there's an opportunity for the senior representatives to meet and greet the troops and walk around. Greet your own nationals. And of course, to have a short conversation with them. Which, um, as of course, the Copper Gold Exercise 2020 has been officially open. And as all the senior representatives from both Thailand and the United States have mentioned, may we wish you a safe and successful exercise. And of course, ladies and gentlemen, this wraps up the opening ceremony of Copper Gold 2020 today. The event of the next activity will be a visit to the CPX area at the maintenance building. So you will be taken to see where the actual exercise, especially for the CPS portion, is performed and conducted. So once again, we remind you, as General Pompipat kindly mentioned, we are taking all the preventative measures possible to prevent any outbreak from spreading of the COVID-19. So for the visit to the TPX area, you can disperse at your own will or at your own leisure. You don't have to follow the group. You disperse at your own will and visit the sections or areas that you would like to visit in particular before we return and we go together for the lunch. Okay, so once again, ladies and gentlemen, as a preventative measure, we would like to invite 
those of you who would like to visit the CPS area to disperse and visit the areas that you own more and own leisure before we regroup for lunch. And after lunch, of course, there will be a departure of return back to Bangkok for those of you who came with us this morning. The return flight to Bangkok will be around 1 o'clock. So once again, thank you very much for attending this Copper Gold 2020 exercise opening money. And we wish you all the best and the most enjoyable exercise in the next week or so. Thank you.
open the eyes. Gentlemen, my name is Montgomery. I'm the deputy spokesperson at the United States Embassy. Uh, we're uh, glad to be here today, but we don't have very much time. <laughs> so I would ask you this relatively short. Um, you have a translation nearby. There she goes. There she is. So if you need uh, translation help, we're happy to help you. Uh, with that, uh, we'll open it for your questions. <laughs>
ka dyan, Ben. advanced fighters we have the brains advanced stealth and the brains advanced uh, sensor that we've never seen in a fighter aircraft it, it really uh, demonstrates not only capability uh, but it's demonstrated a really commitment with our allies here we want to bring our best this way our best train with our best uh, it's not only uh, the fighter but it's the fighter pilot that's there and it's the unit and soldier sailor airmen and marines that we're said in my speech, I've been there seven times, and every time I'm struck by everything that's you know, incredible about this nation. It is beautiful. It's got a tremendously rich history, uh, but more importantly, it's the connected history that we have between our countries. Uh, we've been connected for over two centuries, uh, and we finally resolved the allies you know, over six centuries ago. And since then, Thailand has been there for us, and we are committed to demonstrate our resolve to assist them in all like-minded nations in this region. Ultimately, we want to deliver a free and open, the Pacific. That's what this is all about. So, uh, you know, kind of about what you about the size of the brain, the size of the brain, the And uh, in the most important future, we have to deal with the threat of the future. Uh, nature's threat changes over time. We deal with today are not the same as we may have dealt with 15 years ago. So, cyber threats are definitely a threat to all of us. The uh, threat of cyber crime is all, and it's something that we have to be uh, very steadfast in the future. And so, the ability of us uh, to cooperate in the society and to share lessons learned uh, will hopefully get uh, us to try to tackle these events. Time for two more questions. Well, we're not looking at the goal as a Uh, free trade is about 